students welcome to the 14th lecture in the lecture series of matrix algebra so in this video lecture we will be discussing a very interesting topic which tells us how to deal with diagonalizability of a matrix right and for this the first definition which we are required to understand is the similar matrices so what are similar matrices so for this i will define let a and b be any two matrices which are of order n cross n right then i say that a is similar to b and generally this is denoted like this so a is similar to b if there exists a matrix p right which is a non singular matrix such that p inverse ap gives me b so in that case i say the two matrices are similar to each other what can be the conclusion when i say that a is similar to b what are the things or what are the properties that are preserved between the two matrices if a is similar to b it means their rank will be same their characteristic equation will be same characteristic polynomial will be same minimal also will be same determinant will be same eigen values will be same jcf that is jordan canonical form that will also be same the trace will also be same and similarly diagonalizability will also be the same so that is the importance when i say that the two matrices are similar to each other now let us understand one more definition that is any matrix is similar to diagonal matrix right so when i say let a be a matrix which is of order n cross n so if this is diagonalizable when i will say that a is diagonalizable if a is similar to a diagonal matrix fine that is a is similar to a diagonal matrix so what is a diagonal matrix diagonal matrix is a one in which only only the principal diagonal elements are present rest all the elements are zero and in this case a is similar to diagonal Uh, matrix and diagonal entries are nothing but the eigen values so that is the importance of this you know definition so that is if there exists a p which is which obviously it should be non singular that is because if it is singular then you cannot define the inverse of the matrix so there exists a p which is non singular such that p inverse ap must be equal to d and then we will say that my matrix a is diagonalizable right so matrix a is diagonalizable right the first trick which we should understand is that a is diagonalizable if and only if the am is equals to gm so what is my am that is the algebraic multiplicity and gm is the geometric multiplicity for each eigen value that must be equal if this holds then i will say that my matrix a is diagonalizable right and this result is if and only if so very strong result now let us check this with an example students if you are having any problem to calculate the am and gm you should obviously watch my pre previous videos for this right now let us look into these examples so the first example is i have considered a 4 cross 4 matrix right so what are the eigen values corresponding to this right so the eigen values will be since this is a rank 1 matrix so the eigen values will be trace and rest of eigen values will be zero so these are the tricks which we have already described in the previous videos so the eigen values are 4 0 0 0 now for lambda equals to 4 what is my am so am is equals to 1 and we know one result what was what is the result that my gm always lies between it is always lying between 1 and am right but if my am comes out to be 1 so automatically gm will be 1 right and so for lambda equals to 4 am is equals to gm no issues come for lambda equals to 0 when my lambda equals to 0 what is my am am is 3 now what is the gm so we know the formula how to calculate gm so gm is nothing but my n minus rank of a minus lambda i and lambda in this case is 3 right so n minus what is the rank of a minus 3 i so if you subtract 3 from all the diagonal entries and if you calculate the rank of that matrix it will come out to be 1 so 4 minus 1 which is 3 so am is equals to gm for the other eigen value also and this is true for all the eigen values right so i can say that my matrix a is diagonalizable moving on to the second example you can see this is a 3 cross 3 matrix and again this is a rank 1 matrix so the eigen values will be trace and rest all eigen values will be zero and the trace in this case is zero right and rest other eigen values will be zero now you check the am am is 3 what is the gm gm will be n minus rank of a minus lambda i and what is my lambda in this case lambda is zero only right so you have to just calculate the rank of a and what is this rank of a a is a matrix of rank 1 so 3 minus 1 which is 2 so am is not equal to gm so we will conclude that my a is not diagonalizable moving on to the third example here we have a 4 cross 4 matrix you can easily see that this is a diagonal matrix so the 
diagonal elements will only be the eigen values right so lambda equals to 1 and the am corresponding to 1 will be 2 right and similarly for lambda equals to 2 the am will be 1 and for lambda equals to 3 the am will be 1 now what about gm so if am is 1 automatically in these cases gm will be 1 so no worries what about when lambda equals to 1 am is 2 what about gm gm in this case will be n minus rank of a minus lambda i and lambda in this case is 1 so rank of a minus i so if you if you subtract right if you subtract 1 from all the diagonal entries you can see this will be 0 this will be 0 this will be 1 and this will be 2 so this is a rank 2 matrix right all other entries are 0 so what is the rank of this matrix that is a 2 so n what is my n n is 4 minus 2 which comes out to be 2 and that is the gm corresponding to lambda equals to 1 fine with this now so for lambda equals to 1 am is equals to gm and similarly for lambda equals to 2 am is equals to gm and for lambda equals to 3 am is equals to gm so and hence i will say that my matrix a is diagonalizable so few remarks the first remark is every diagonal matrix is diagonalizable but converse is not true so what will be the converse the converse will be that if my matrix is diagonalizable it, it is not important that it must be a you know diagonal matrix as we have seen in the first example also so this this was a matrix which was diagonalizable but yes it is not a diagonal matrix so that is the first remark so every diagonal matrix is diagonalizable but the converse is not true the next remark is if every eigenvalue of a matrix is distinct then it is always diagonalizable so again one of the trick right and again the converse need not be true what will be the converse in this statement that whenever my matrix is diagonalizable all the eigenvalues have to be distinct you can again see to the first example itself this matrix was diagonalizable but see the eigenvalues are not distinct right there are three same eigenvalues that is 0 0 0 so the converse need not be true in these cases now let a be a 4 cross 4 matrix such that a is diagonalizable and its characteristic polynomial is given to me so i have to calculate the minimal corresponding to this right now a is a 4 cross 4 matrix a is diagonalizable right and from characteristic polynomial you can see what are the eigenvalues that is 5 and 6 and what is the am of 5 that is 2 and what 6 also it is 2 right and since my a is diagonalizable so am has to be equals to gm i hope this thing is clear to you now now we are interested to calculate the minimal and as i have described in the previous videos also how to calculate the minimal so you have to make the partitions corresponding to the am so the am is 2 so what are the partitions of 2 that is 2 and 1 plus 1 and then you have to see to the gm so gm is 2 so you have to look into the two parts of the partitions of am and then you have to choose the highest number but when you move to the two partitions of 2 that is 1 and 1 only so the highest part is always 1 so x minus 5 raised to power 1 and similarly for this also x minus 6 raised to power 1 so that will be the minimal corresponding to this question so what is the conclusion till now so if a is diagonalizable then my am is equals to gm for every eigenvalue right and the second point is if the minimal that is consists of distinct monic linear factors of each eigenvalues and the last is there exists a p which is a non-singular such that p inverse ap comes out to be equal to d and the last question is which of the following is not diagonalizable over the reals it means the eigenvalues must be real you have to you know look into this very carefully so the first part is 1 0 0 1 2 1 0 0 1 so you can see that lambda equals to 1 and lambda equals to 2 they are the eigenvalues right for lambda equals to 2 am is equals to gm which is equals to 1 so since the am is already 1 so gm has to be 1 what if my lambda equals to 1 so the gm am is 2 right what about gm gm will be n minus rank of a minus lambda i and lambda is 1 in this case so n minus rank of a minus i right so just subtract identity from all the uh, entries and you will see that this is a rank 1 matrix so this will be 3 minus 1 which is 2 so clearly am is equals to gm for lambda equals to 1 and lambda equals to 2 so this matrix is diagonalizable but we are as not diagonalizable so this will not come the next part is second part so since all the all the eigenvalues are distinct that is 1 2 and 3 this is a diagonal matrix so this is again diagonalizable but we are asked not diagonalizable so this will also not come similarly for the fourth option also the eigenvalues corresponding to this is 1 2 and 3 so they are distinct so it means this is also diagonalizable but we are asked about not diagonalizable so this will also 
not come into my options. Okay. This part, for this part, just see 110, 010, 002. What are the eigenvalues? Clearly, this is also a diagonal matrix. So the eigenvalues will be lambda equals to 1 and lambda equals to 2, right? What about lambda equals to 2? So clearly, AM is equals to GM is equals to 1, right? What about lambda equals to 1? Clearly, the AM is 2. What about GM? GM will be N minus rank of a minus lambda i and lambda is 1 in this case so just subtract 1 from all the diagonal entries so this will be 0 this will be 0 this will come out to be 1 so this is a rank 2 matrix so 3 minus 2 which is 1 clearly am is not equal to gm so this is not diagonalizable so that will be the correct answer so i hope the concept of diagonalizability is clear to you if you have any queries you can mention those doubts in the comment box for more such videos do subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to press bell icon Thank you students.